The National Assembly has passed a bill to criminalize and make comprehensive provisions for the prohibition and punishment of sexual harassment by educators in tertiary institutions. We call the Sexual Harassment Bill was introduced in 2019 and passed in 2020. Captain TV Esther Abo has more details. Sexual harassment in institutions has been described as a core problem and setback for educational development in Nigeria. The National Assembly has thus passed a bill to make comprehensive provisions for the prohibition and punishment of sexual harassment by educators in tertiary institutions. Report has it that the Senate introduced the Anti-Sexual Harassment Bill in 2019 and passed it in 2020. Students of Nigerian universities raised their concerns about the consequences and impact of the Sexual Harassment Legislation Bill as it will help in protecting the dignity of students. If the bill is passed, it will go in a long way to curb you know, sexual harassment on campuses, in workplaces, and even in the environment in general. That means people know that there are consequences to their actions. And when they know that they are facing a long-term uh, imprisonment, or probably some in life imprisonment, you know, they want to ameliorate their ways. To me, there will be like a lot of effects. Example, like, it would be very hard for anybody not just lecturers for anybody to like harass because before you 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 sexually harass someone you first think of the side effects like the consequences you would have to go through probably your jail term or something like you have to think of it and the bill was enacted to promote and protect ethical standards and to criminalize sexual harassment by educators against students in tertiary institutions public awareness and education play a major role in combating sexual harassment however the causes of sexual harassment in institutions should be tackled because of its impact on students individuals and the society as a whole the first thing universities need to do like if you go into Unilag now, you will see a, a sign for saying dress the way you want to be addressed. It's to curb indecent dressings. These days we see a lot of girls, you know, boys dressing ind indecently. So we can have a lot of seminars, you know, sensitization on how sexual harassment can be curbed on campuses particularly and also in the workplaces. You have to create a gathering where you lecture students. See, most times, the students are the ones actually doing themselves due to exposure, body and everything, you understand? They are the ones causing most of these things that are happening within our vicinity. Collaboration from organizations like universities and workplaces will go to a large extent in contributing and creating a safe, healthy and inclusive environment free from sexual harassment. First off, by not um, by giving the victims the confidence to like voice out you know there are some people that if they're being harassed they'll be like ah, if i go and ask or if i should tell such a person this thing wouldn't they blame me first that's the first thing that comes to your to their mind that, ah what if they blame me first but i didn't know this was going to happen if those things can be you know caught and used for better things like awareness, the girl child awareness, the boy child awareness on this issue, particularly of sexual harassment. It will go a long way. So when there is a, a garden, a, a forum that lectures people on how they should handle cases, even if you are a victim of this, this is how you should react to it. These are immediate steps you should take. This thing will die down gradually. I'm not saying all at once, but at least gradually it will die down. It is necessary to ensure that victims of sexual harassment feel supported, empowered and get all the encouragements they need to report incidents. Technology can also be leveraged to prevent and address instances of sexual harassment. Esther Agbu, Captain Television, Lagos.